Believe in your brand. Write the vision, make it plain. If you needed a sign to get that business plan off the ground, go for it. There's no better time like the present. I am the fashion pedestrian. Fashion pedestrian. The fashion pedestrian. The fashion pedestrian. Hey everybody, it's me, Faith. I am the fashion pedestrian. Welcome to the fashion pedestrian TV. Fashion, locks, lifestyle. Today, I guess it's kind of emphasis on the lifestyle portion. I'm gonna be talking to you guys about how the fashion pedestrian got its name. Some of you may be wondering, why the fashion pedestrian? What does that even mean? That's exactly what we'll be talking about today. And I just wanna encourage you guys, give you guys a little bit of motivation with some things that have helped me. So let's go ahead and get started. When I was a little girl, I loved, loved, loved art and fashion. I used to sketch all the time. You could not pull me away from my sketchbook. I would sketch specifically pictures of clothing and outfits, women in outfits, sometimes children, and very seldomly men, but I was always sketching outfits on women. And I drew my inspiration for clothing and outfits as I was getting a little older in the preteen years to my scene. Do you guys remember the My Scene dolls? Polly Pocket was very fashionable and it was one of my favorite toys. Bratz dolls, those dolls, and the websites were sources of inspiration for me. Me and my little sister, Sierra, we love to watch Totally Spies and their outfits were always so fashion forward and cute. Outside of their spy outfits, they were very fashionable and fun. Not to mention coming up, a big part of my upbringing was going shopping on Saturdays with my mom. She is a fashionista, shopaholic, okay? So she knows how to get a great deal. She knows how to find the most on-trend, beautiful pieces of clothing. So we were always dressed to the nines coming up, me and my two sisters. When I would draw as a kid, I, I really wanna say I started drawing when I was maybe seven or eight. But when I got into the preteen years, I was solid in wanting to sketch designs of clothing for women. So you're probably wondering, what in the world does that have to do with fashion pedestrian? Well, when I was going into the early teen years, I would find myself drawing women in clothing walking in a scene somewhere. I specifically remember drawing with one woman walking in the desert, another woman walking in New York. They were fashion pedestrians. So the name of my styling company, the Fashion Pedestrian LLC, is based off of an idea and based off of the sketches that I used to draw when I was a young girl. Back then, I really wanted to be a fashion designer. When I got older and in high school, I was in the e-commerce marketing academy, I learned about fashion buying and merchandising and that became of interest to me. And then when I was in college, I started to learn more and more business administration and marketing. I have a, a lot of retail background. My first job was working for a retailer that will not be named. You can just see the gradual growth and change that I wanted to get a business degree so that I could be very knowledgeable in all aspects to be able to run my own business one day, no matter what it would be. Fast forward about seven years now. As of February 2019, I was able to get my business license and brand the Fashion Pedestrian LLC. All the experience in my life of drawing, having a passion for fashion, learning the business inside marketing. I now have some years of experience in personal styling. And I knew when I was asking God what I should name my business, it was a known brainer that my business would be called the Fashion Pedestrian LLC. The Fashion Pedestrian is a styling company. I am the executive stylist and creative director, of course, the CEO of the Fashion Pedestrian LLC. The Fashion Pedestrian is layered. It has a lot of meanings. I want to go to the meanings of some of these things. Fashion and pedestrian is almost like an oxymoron. So although back then when I was a young girl drawing 
and I called them fashion pedestrians because obviously they were walking. Now that I've gotten older, the Lord has helped me fine tune, realize the layer and the depth of the name of my business. And when you think of fashion, you think of fun, vibrant, exciting, trendy, style. New York Fashion Week, Paris Fashion Week. Fashion is something exciting, something extravagant, something exciting. It is art and it drives you. It's a source of inspiration and motivation and is a large industry of people who are motivated and inspired by art and nature. Pedestrian, someone who walks, but pedestrian is also can be seen as someone who is mundane, just going through the motions. So you see how that could be an oxymoron, the fashion pedestrian. I am changing the narrative of what a pedestrian is. I am the one to bridge the gap as a stylist, as a personal stylist. Not only that, my name is Faith. Walking by Faith, I am your fashion pedestrian has a lot of different meanings. I do all the walking for you. I do all the leg work for you in regards to styling you and giving you a full on experience. It's a lot of psychology that goes into it. I need you to believe in me as I'm also believing in you to believe in me, to dream up a styling concept for you. I'm super excited for everything that God has allowed me to accomplish so far in the depth of what my value proposition is as a stylist. Not only is the Fashion Pedestrian a personal styling and wardrobe styling company, it is also a brand. You're watching the Fashion Pedestrian TV right now. I have a lot of major plans for where I want the Fashion Pedestrian to go and the Lord has already just blown up my perspective and taken the Fashion Pedestrian further than I could have ever imagined to be. So I'm super excited to see where I will be in the next five years. I just wanna motivate whoever is watching that whatever business plans and ideas that you have, go for it. Do something every day to work on your brand, to work on your business idea, to work on whatever your passion is. I have a day job also, but your passion, you always wanna realign and you always want to make a plan to pour into your passion in some type of way. So if this is the sign that you needed to go for it with your business plan, let this be that sign. Pastor Lynn Ballinger, he gave a message once that God gives us our desires, then he gives us our desires. Your gift will make room for you. You don't just have these passions and these raw talents for no reason. Build on and to cultivate and to flourish. So if no one's ever told you that they believe in your business idea, your business plan, or the idea Yes, that you have I'm telling you right now that I believe in you and I'm telling you right now that you have to believe in yourself if you don't believe in yourself and if you don't believe in your brand no one will you will go through different seasons with your brand and your company and solidifying yourself as a brand and as a business but that's okay you have to write things down you have to flesh it out you have to write the vision and make it plain my husband has been super 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 supportive and motivating me that even me making this video right now at night is based off of something you said you have to work on your brand you have to pour into your business every day so i'm just reiterating that that if no one has ever told you i'm telling you to pour into your brand pour into yourself and make time for yourself and your passions and things that you want to do even if it's only one hour a day even if it's only five to seven hours out of the week you have to pour into your brand and your passions I'm very creative, so I know what it's like to be in an environment, working in an environment where my creative being or that part of me is not being exercised and it feels like a part of you is suffocated because it's true, you are. You are suffocating a part of yourself if you have a creative talent or if there's a passion you have and you're not cultivating it, you're not researching about it, you're not pouring into yourself. I'm excited to see where this brand goes. I'm excited to see where you all's brands are going to go, where you all's plans and passions are going to go. So just if you would like to in the comments, just say what some of your passions are and ideas. Speak them into fruition and get started. There's no better time like the present. I love all of you guys. Stay motivated. Pour into you. Believe in your brand. Jesus is Lord. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Thanks you guys so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram at The Fashion Pedestrian and my personal page at Faith Fangirl. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already and press the bell for notifications. Love you guys. Jesus is Lord. See you guys next time. Bye.